What's up, y'all? We're back in here with another five reaction, man. It's Minds of the Future. And today, we have a new Within Temptation song just dropped a week ago, but the music video dropped two days ago. Entertaining you. Two days ago. Two days ago. <laughs> two days ago. And two days ago. But, if we're doing this new thing, with, we're doing newer songs, we're going to try to. So if y'all knew new uh, new songs that are coming out by artists from over there, artists from over here, tell us down below in the comment section, put the link down below, we'll get to it very, very soon. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you go to the merch link in bio and enter the contest. The question for this week is, what exact date did we join YouTube? Alright, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to hop into this. Yes, sir. We didn't win the temptation in a little while. Yeah, the last one we done. Actually, it wasn't that long ago. We did uh, Exhibit in them. I like that song. It was very cool. It reminded me a lot of uh, In the End by Linkin Park. Yeah. But y'all want us to do um, Angels by then. We're going to get to that soon. So, yeah. Let's go. Let's get it. Alright. Three, two, one, go. Oh, the visuals, okay, already. You see that man's face? Get off my screen! Don't be mistaken, your bloody time's up. This ain't no game when I hear that you Dang! Pause! What, huh? Pause. Oh my gosh, dude. You know that one song that used to be on WWE? That was a slap. It sounds like this. Go back. Your bloody time's up. This ain't no game when I hear that Ooh. Here is on some Joker stuff. Looking like Dax over here. With the Joker themed stuff. If you don't know who Dax is, go check out Dax. He's a rapper over here. He's got some uh he's got some religious based things and then he has some more freestyles and meaningful songs. Motivational songs, so go check yeah. them out. But um This is crazy. The visuals I like are crazy. This. this is a big step up from the last one. I got not the visuals, the visuals are really good. The last one. I'm talking song-wise. Oh yeah. I, I love this. Like the, it sounds so much bigger. And Dude, what was that one song that we used to listen to all the time in WWE? I don't know the name of it. Who's it by? I don't know. I just remember the song when they started doing the drums in this song. It just made me remind me of. It. Was it one of the theme songs for the show? Yes. Well, there's "Burn It Down" or "Burn It to the Ground" by uh, Nickelback. And then there was a Papa Roach song. I don't know, but it was uh, it was good. But this is reminding me of it a oh, lot. Oh, what was the name of that song? We'll look it up afterward. But um, her voice is really, really good. They said, I think I said one time that she's like the next thing from Floor. She's, I love her vocals. Yeah, like she's up there with Floor's singing abilities. 
Besides Florida, there's like more Afro, uh, operatic stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. She changes up a lot more, but other than that, this script, she's a really good singer. She's very good. I love his art. Working with video. That was a deep song. I like it. But I don't really know the meaning of it. Cause it was, it was like, I think the dude said, "Don't be, res don't be forsaken. Your bloody times up. We're not here to entertain you." And then she said, "Go to." What'd she say, "Go to hell." Go to hell. Yeah, go to hell. We're not here to entertain you. Yeah. So. They could have a lot of meanings behind it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the song that you were thinking about, it's either Burn It to the Ground by Nickelback. They're both raw theme songs. Yeah. So there's Burn It to the Ground by Nickelback, and then there's also... Want to Be Loved by Papa Roach. I don't know, but she did amazing on that song right there. They all did amazing. The instruments when it came in, as soon as the instruments came in, I knew I was going, I was going to enjoy it. Here, as soon as that crap came in. That's probably it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. It's reminding me of it for some reason. Are you sure? Then there's this one. This is the one that came out after they used that one. This came out in 2009 on the, the new season. Maybe may have been both of them. Both of them sound a lot alike. It may have just been both of them. But it's both of them. No, the guitar tone is what probably yeah. reminded you. And then when the drums kicked in, yeah. It definitely was, but I like the visuals in that a lot. It was really creepy. Gave you a creepy vibe. They all had like circus. Yeah, like freak, circus acts. On. Circus freak show top. Yeah, so I'm not too sure what stuff. the what the meaning of it was. So if y'all can tell us down below what the meaning of the song is. I think well, the meaning of like okay, so circus is a, that's what they're for for entertainment. Entertainment, yeah. So maybe she's trying to say that. Um, but is it really about circuses or is it metaphor? That's what I'm thinking. It's a metaphor. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. 
So, what do you think it's a metaphor to, though? I don't really know that. I don't know that either. That'd be it's, crazy. I think it's definitely a metaphor. Um, maybe it's maybe something it's, like Gordon's girl. Maybe no. Maybe it's more of they're here not to entertain, but to inform you. Like, show you and tell you about like, something. Okay. Instead of trying to entertain you, they're trying to catch your ear on something that's actually... Like a problem. Right there. Something, yeah. That could possibly be. That could be, be something, too. Alright, y'all, man. Let's get into some of these comments. Tell us down below what y'all think about this song. I like it. I like it a lot, too. Before we get into these shouts, if you have any comments, recommendations, requests, go to the comment section down below. Make sure you give a bunch of likes. The video will be up quicker. Go follow the link above Fathead. Personal accounts in the description. You got anything you want to ask, say this, go right ahead. Make sure you go to the merch link and bow, buy you some merch, and enter into the contest. Uh, we're going to take this from the Joe Rollins Struggle Jennings. I love this song. Fall. Woo! I've been jamming this song all Only 500 of y'all have watched this, so if you haven't watched this one, don't watch it, because it's a good song. Here you go. Here he goes. Um, Joan Machado, much on your Joe Roll journey. Check out Glitter. Same, can't say that word. Can't go home and nothing <laughs> left at all. Creature, just name a few. Much, much respect. Shout out to you. We will, uh, we'll try to get some more of him. If y'all want some, I like Joey Roll. Uh, Gul, or, I think I remember how I said his name, but I think it's Gul Aiden. Uh, thanks for explaining the noise. I listen with him without a headset, but I don't hear it, or maybe just can't bother. And then he also said, or she also said, this song makes me want to listen to Bone Thugs and Harmony again. Style is not really the same though, but hey, Bone Thugs and Harmony. In that some was, ways, I can see maybe his style of rapping a little bit. Mm, mm. Bone, bone, no. bone Thugs and Harmony. That <laughs> crap. I used to. I have a friend that listened to Bone Thugs and Harmony. And he's not even into rap music that much. Hunter Musgrove. That man. Oh. He listened to both. He listened to Bone Thugs and Harmony a lot. Uh. Erwin, Erwin Halman's Hey Alan and Jordan, you are so funny and sincere. Love this video and of course your reaction. It is so nice to see how you two brothers react to each other. And Alan, I am astonished how much you know about music as you are so young. By the way, why are you two not wearing your own shirts? Oh yeah, wait, do we do this? I think somebody else asked us why we didn't have our shirts. Okay, well, started. they're still being shipped. They just got extended today. I did. I don't know about yours. I'm not sure oh, which okay. one you got extended. One of ours got extended on the shipping because of all this bull crap. It was probably mine, because we didn't order mine first. Oh, I mean, who knows? What? No. Remember, because when we ordered yours, we used Mama's email address. Oh, yeah, that's yours. true. So, it was mine. It's been extended. Oh, okay. So, maybe yours, mine didn't. Yours should be here within the next couple of days. Mine will be here probably in the next week. So. Uh, Car Carola Van Binsbergen, I like this song. We'll look him up on YouTube. Thanks, guys. Lots of love from the Netherlands. Shout out to you. Thank you a lot. Thank you. All right, y'all, man. That's going to be the video, man. Be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And click the bell. And y'all know what we do with the crew. MOTF gang. Let's end this video, man. Peace. Peace.